Welcome back, DLG fam. Once again, here we are, another unboxing. This time, it's the Amazon Luna. Hmm, that reminds me. Google Stadia? What's that? So, Amazon is taking a, their... Hmm, I guess you can say they're trying to join the gaming realm. You know, trying to compete with all the uh, consoles. I don't know if they'll be able to. This is actually Amazon Luna. I was invited a few weeks ago to try this out and I finally gave in. I said, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's see what all the fuss is about. So Amazon Luna, you ask yourself, what is that? Well, it's a cloud-based gaming, just like Google Stadia. But Google Stadia, where's Google Stadia at now? The only downside to cloud gaming is the user's internet. And you know, internet nowadays, especially during this time, it's being used, bandwidth is being used on a daily basis to an extreme. This is the box that it came in. It's just a controller. The controller is, I paid for it $59.99. I'm not too sure if they're gonna sell it a little bit cheaper, but I also got the game clip. I cannot find it because I don't know where I placed it. So let's open up the box and see what comes in here. What do you get? That's it. The controller, some batteries, and an instruction manual that many of us do not bother reading but it's pretty crazy so the only thing i hate about this thing is the way you set it up oh guess what guys one thing real quick it does come with batteries but it's pretty hmm how can i say it? it's not easy the setup process is not easy so you have to go and put in put your grab your phone grab a qr reader Read that QR, install an app on your phone to be able to connect to your Amazon account, which in return, you have to pay $5.99 for the Amazon Luna subscription, or you can pay $14.99 for a Ubisoft subscription. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna try it out. Let's see what's the deal. Um, you're very limited on the amount of games you can play for the time being due to the fact that it's not completely out yet I'll show you guys a list of the games that you're able to play as of now I was able to play grid which is a racing game it's okay you know it's pretty cool I'm running a one gig line in my house all right guys so check it out this is what the Amazon Luna user interface looks like they actually don't have a lot of games as of right now I believe they might grow their library and might, they might expand it but for now, there's about 66 games or so available for streaming. And, you know, as you can see here, it might not be very popular games, but they got some in there. You know, I mean, it, it is only $5.99 a month for the streaming service. But one thing I will tell you is you must have a very stable internet connection, something that's very reliable. I myself, I'm running a one gigabit line. So I'm going to show you guys Grid. This is a racing game, so check it out. So that was actually Grid. Uh, I'm not too sure if you guys might have heard of that game before. But this is available on Amazon Luna. And now I'm gonna show you guys actually another gameplay, which is one of my childhood favorites. It's actually an arcade game, it's Contra. I don't know if you guys remember Contra, but I surely do. And this brings back a lot of arcade memories. Arcades are probably very, uh, you know, there's very limited amount nowadays, especially with the pandemic going on. They're probably not even open, but check it out. This is Contra. So the one thing about this application or service 
you have to set up the Luna controller separately on your phone first and attach it to your Amazon account, which is kind of dumb for me because you would think you would just power it on and I, it would automatically, well not automatically, but you just have to connect to the Bluetooth on your computer. But no, you have to run an app that you scan the QR code that comes within the actual box itself. separate charge so you're paying about $19.99 a month for this streaming service with the Ubisoft I'm not a big fan of many of these games on here I've heard of Metro and also Contra which I mentioned before that I was my childhood favorite and it does have the grid game but as far as other playable games for me oh check it out it does have Resident Evil Biohazard not sure if you guys are into getting scared other than that I, it, the other games don't really catch my attention so I would say, you know, Amazon has a long way to go with this particular service. Not only that, it's also, they claim that it's 4K capable, but it's only 4K capable in the future. Like they're still working on it, as you can see here, coming soon. So 4K is not available yet. So we're only streaming, I think like 1080p at the best, you know? So I don't know what you guys think of this service, but this is what you guys get in the package for $5.99 and if you want to budge for the extra $14.99 that's all up to you okay so I'm gonna read you guys real quick what you're able to do with this with the Luna package which is the $5.99 you get unlimited hours of play obviously a growing library of games including Control, Grid and Metro Exodus it's most like more than likely it's with only the Luna, it's gonna be previous games, not the newer ones. Up to 1080p, 60 FPS. 4K is not available yet. Can you imagine how much bandwidth you're gonna drain from the your local whatever company you're using? Man, they're gonna be calling you, hey sir, you're draining our bandwidth. We're gonna, we're actually gonna throttle you now. But 4K is not available yet. You can stream on two devices, so you can use it on your iPad via Safari, your Amazon Fire Stick, the cube or whatever that thing's called. I don't own one myself, but what I'm wondering is, are you able to use it on your Apple TV? Because to me, I use Apple devices in my house. So, you know, I would like to see if that's possible. And also it claims that you can play on a PC, a Mac. Well, I just said it, a Fire TV, web apps, your iPhone, iPad, and Android phones. Obviously it's gonna be through an app or the browser, Safari browser. Now for the Ubisoft, which is the Ubisoft Plus, you get unlimited hours of play, same thing, up to 1080p, 60 FPS, no 4K yet, coming soon, but you're only you're limited to one device to stream on. So you can't you can't use two controllers separately on on two different TVs. You have to use only one. And you can also Here we go with the Rice Rockets. Makes louder noise. And the car's like this. But anyway, okay. Play on PC, Mac, Fire TV, web apps, just like I said before, the iPhone, the iPad, and Android devices. And you can also download the PC version of the games through the Ubisoft Connect because now you're going to be have the membership for Ubisoft, so you're able to download games for your PC. And, I mean, why would you want to play on the controller when you got your PC and you can play at 4K? You know, so it kind of defeats its purpose. But other than that, guys you really don't have much to it but this controller and you press this button and it turns on it got the rumble feature and everything you know just like your regular xbox or playstation controller look at this let's put a comparison here look how closely similar these things are that's the xbox elite series 2 controller but that's crazy you know they just change little things here and there so they won't get sued obviously but how many of you guys joined this particular beta you know because it, it is a it was a beta when I signed up for it I'm not too sure about now you know and do you like it do you think cloud gaming is gonna be the new thing because of the fact that 
Xbox does have X Cloud, but what that means is you're able to access your game library from your Xbox through your X Cloud account or X Cloud app, something like that. But I haven't been able to try it because I have an iPhone and the way the App Store works, it's a huge mess. But let me know in the comments down below, are you part of the Amazon Luna group where you enjoy playing cloud-based games? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we could pick up a few games if they have some multiplayer. I still have to see that. Let's check it out and see if there's multiplayer. So the one thing about it is you do have to have an Amazon account, obviously, because it's the Amazon Luna. And that's how you connect your controller is connect via your Amazon account. If you guys enjoy the content I'm providing and these type of unboxings, even though this one was kind of small because it's just one controller and everything else is based on the computer, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy it. What else do you want me to unbox for you? What don't you want to spend money on? Limited, obviously. No, that don't come up with these extravagant numbers of go buy a $10,000, $15,000 Mac and, and, and give us a review and what do you think about it? You know, as far as gaming things go, let me know which ones you guys want me to review. Check out my other unboxings and I got some gameplay on there. But if you like it, hit that like button. It'll really help me out with the algorithm and I'm able to provide you guys with more content. Make sure, please make sure if you really do enjoy the content, turn that red button down there. Great. Because that will help everybody grow as a DLG community. But till next time guys, I'm Tech. Peace out.